Let me start by saying that Doug is a very humble person, and um, I think that's part of his success. Green Diamond has prioritized managing the forest as a generational asset since 1890, and that is stewardship, managing assets for over 130 years. And all of this while actively contributing to the well-being of the rural operating communities where our assets are, are based. As a company, they've been leaders for a long time. Uh, the other thing I would say that, you know, there's just increasing understanding of around the world is the importance of forests and working forests to ecosystem health. And Green Diamond understands that. They know that they are partners with organizations like the state and the federal fish and wildlife agencies because working forests are critical habitat for animals. Um, they are important for clean water and clean air and uh, mitigating runoff into streams. My, my grandfather, who, who essentially had my job, uh, he used to famously ask uh, some of the foresters, what are you doing for my grandchildren? And that was before he even had grandchildren in some cases. And so it really, it set a sense of uh, how are we managing this for the long term? He also understands that sustainability is more than just ecosystem health or sequestering carbon or the practices of the business. It is about sustainable economies in rural communities. It is about creating job opportunities for people who may not have even contemplated that industry as a profession to diversify his workforce to make sure that they're reflective of the communities. And, and I almost say that sustainability is, that's like table stakes. Um, that's, is, that's the baseline. We actually like to talk more about stewardship, where with the idea that we're not just sustaining these things, we're actually making them better. We actually, the, the sustenance is, is, uh, is the bare minimum for what we do. We, we want to take the things, and the assets and the lands and the uh, environment that we are responsible for managing and, and actually make them better for future generations. And that's a, that's a hallmark that's gone on for, really for, for generations in the business. And so we, we, now we're doing things, we're, we're planting trees now that won't be valuable for 40 or 50 or 60 or up to 80 years. For me to go out there and see a 15 or 20 year old uh, stand of Douglas firs in, in Western Washington, uh, and we're stewarding it and, and the effort we're doing now is gonna pay off uh, for my children or grandchildren. I mean that, uh, what more can you ask for for somebody who really wants to work in a long-term business?